Dum 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 Oosh! That's right. We got ourselves the Dragons of Tarkir booster box. Skadoosh! My ninjas. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Also, I got um, uh, merchandise now. If you use promo code CABBAGE, all capitalized. That's right. C A B B A G A. No, C A B A G E. Uh, at checkout, uh, apply that promo code. You will save an extra five bucks. Literally, there is uh, less than, I think, 50 cents on t-shirts that I make. <laughs> I'm really making nothing after that promo code, but I'm just trying to get it into your hands, and I think today or tomorrow is the last day before you can guarantee your uh, arrival for uh, Christmas. So there you go. Now you know. Hooray. Let's do this, man. This is from 2015. 2015. We're going to tally up all the value here. Um, and you can find the... There should be... They should be displaying now underneath every video um, the merch, you know. There's not too many options right now. You know, it's a few like with the hoodies and uh, the shirts. But I thought I would mention that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, there you go. Sarkhan's Triumph. Starting things out. Circle of Elders. Scholar Andromaka's Command. Hot darn! We are starting things off good. Total uh, I put into this is... What was it? 92 bucks I paid for the box. I want to say $92. So we have to get that back. And these are already up to around 100 if I'm not mistaken. I forgot to take a look to see what common cards uh, are worth or darn in here. But uncommon. I know Sarkhan's Triumph. I already pulled one of those. That's worth something. Uh, Iron Shaman. Not sure of the value on that one, but we'll take it. So yeah, this had the Megamorph costs, if you see right here. Uh, for one red mana, you may cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for three. Turn it face up anytime for its Megamorph cost and put a plus one plus one counter on it. So there you have it. I'm not going to go over every single card, obviously. We got a bulk uh, foil there. We'll take it, though. Um, but yeah, I wanted to stop and at least uh, show you guys the mechanics on these cards. Because if I went over every single uh, rare here, we would be in this video for about 40 minutes. And, you know, simply, I, I, I got to save you guys some time. So there you go. Hardened Scales, I think, is a card to pull out of this set, if I'm not mistaken. I would like to see what is the uncommon that's worth something. Or what uncommons are worth something. This is like probably 45 cents or something, something like that. A Draconic Roar, another pretty cool card. We'll take it. Uh, of course, the Deceiver. The Deceiver. That is something. Legit. An Obscuring Aether. What is this? Face down creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. Produce turn Obscuring Aether face down. Okay. I don't think that really saw much play. Maybe it did during its standard, but other than that, uh, I do want to see about commons really quick. So give me one second. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Impact Tremors. We are looking for Impact Tremors. Impact Tremors we pull, I think, are like a buck something. That's not bad for a common, you know. A buck a card. But everything else is mostly bulk in this set. We have Mr. Swift, Warkite, Sorcerer, Wind, Wind. I love the art on this one. Really cool. The Ice Fall Aragant. Not bad for a dragon, though. Um, when Ice Fall Regan enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controllers on tap step for as long as you control Ice Fall Regan. And then spells your opponent's cast at target Ice Fall Regan. Costs two more to cast. Not too shabby. Pretty cool. We did get a dragon. This set is filled with dragons, in case you haven't known. That's the card on the art right there, by the way. Boosh! We'll take it. And this is uh, this is the big daddy from Cincinnati, if we can pull him. Uh, was it uh, Dramaka? I can't remember his name. Uh, the Chasm Center Storm Singer we got. All right. The Strike, the Butcher. Oh, my God. This is, like, one of the best cards. I think this was the very last time they ever printed this card. Ever. They just never print it again. It was really, yeah, great card. All right, moving along here. So we got the Crafter and then another Dragon. So you see the set's just filled with Dragons. Uh, this was probably a little more underwhelming for six. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, target opponent sacrifices a creature. They can get kind of out of hand in the right build. Here's another Dragon, as you see. There's just Dragons everywhere, flying, trampling the Megamorph. And then when it's turn faced up, put a plus one plus one counter on each other Dragon creature you control. Pretty crazy. And we have Volcanic Vision. That's a big boy. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponent's control. Exile Volcanic Vision. Now, these cards, these prices are uh, slowly all ticking up a little bit. I mean, you know, some, of course, more than others, but they're going up because of Pioneer format. Oh, we got ourselves an Impact Tremor. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Where's my bell, man? Whoa. 
A little delay there, Mr. Moss. So this is the one that's worth over a buck. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it impact tremors deals one damage each opponent. Not too bad. That is one of the more sought-after cards, uh, the common-wise. So we have Circle of Elders. They're getting down to some weird stuff in the middle of the woods, huh? Atraka's Command. Solid little pool there. Very uh, solid. Um, yeah, your opponents can't gain life this turn. Atraka's Command deals three damage to each opponent. And then also, you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain reach until end of turn. You get to choose two of those. Not bad. Does see play. It does see play. I think it sees play in modern as well, if I'm not mistaken. But more so, I believe, Pioneer. I believe, yep. Yeah, sure. All right, got the negate. What was the other uh, What was the other mechanic in this set? I'm trying to think of it. What was it? Explosive Vegetation. There's a solid little uncommon. We'll take it. Not bad at all. Um, Beltog Dragon. Actually, I'll put that up here. Just so we have an idea. There's the dragon. Uh, we got the flying and the old hexproof, which is pretty sweet sauce. I'm trying to get the uncommons pulled up here. Okay. So I have an idea what's what. Explosive Vegetation is something. There you go. Okay. Actually, Explosive Vegetation is the most pricey uncommon you can pull out of this set. <clears throat> now we know. Blessed Reincarnation with Rebound. That's the other mechanic. If you cast this spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. Haru. Now notice we're not pulling a foil after another foil after another foil. It just didn't get down like that in this set. Um, we'll be lucky to get four or five foils in the entire box. And, ooh, another Impact Tremors. And that's just the way the cookie is going to crumble on that. Uh, Rakasha Crave Collar. This is when um, uh, foils were actually worth a darn. I know, it's nuts. It's, it's when they were worth... Oh, my God! Bam! Right in the tail! Cabin Collar! This is not cabin. That is good, man. Yes! <laughs> Break the bill in the face. Oh, man, things just fell. Uh, look at that. This. this is one of the best cards you can pull out of the entire set. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two creature cards with converted mana costs, three or less from among them out of the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Nasty, nasty card right there. Bada, bada, bink. We'll take it, man. Wow. Wow. Look at that, man. Wow. I don't think one of the stink. All right, here we go, man. Volcanic Rush, all up at you. Oof, 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 oof. Can we get something else, Juice? Let's go. Let's juice it up. Colgan Monument. Void Squall. Atraka Monument. And... Profaner of the Dead. This is some sweet artwork, though. I gotta pay respect to this. One of my favorite artwork, uh, favorite pieces of art on a magic card. That is just so creepy. Like, seriously, get a load of that. It's got the exploit mechanic. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. When Profaner of the Dead exploits a creature, return to their owner's hand. All creatures your opponents control with toughness less than exploit a creature's toughness. That is something. Yes, close out some games that way. That's right. Really cool. I just love that creepy, grim, you know, just like sickening artwork. It really does things to me. I mean, it does. It really does. All right, we got Gate Smasher. That's right. Followed by Dragon Servant. That's worth a little penny. Something, something. We'll take it. Dragon Spells you cast cost one less to cast. Not bad at all. And case in ice. And then shortly after that came Thing in the Ice. What do you know? BAM! Dragon Lord Dramaka! Wow, this box just heated up. I could feel the fire burning deep below in my pants. Man, we are doing good. Nasty card. Another one of the top pulls in this set. Dragon Lord Dramaka. Uh, Dragon Lord Dramaka can't be countered. Flying lifelink. Your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. Very powerful card. A lot of people love using this in EDH. And also modern, it sees play. I'm sure it's seeing play now in Pioneer. Just a very, very strong, strong creature. And uh, those abilities are very, very super awesome. Yes, indeed. And then we have Assault Road Quartermasters for our foil. Wow, great pull so far, man. We are like, this box is really coming alive. Like, it really is unbelievable. Oh, man. You guys ever open this product? Or what, what, okay, I'll tell you what. What? was like t tell me like a time where you just had a crap ton of fun opening 
uh, opening cards. Like, you know, like, like I, I open so much on this channel, it's ridiculous. You know, I can't even organize all my stuff. But, and here's another dragon. Um, but I'd love to hear a time where you guys just had a blast opening cards. Or what's your favorite set, you know, that you really take a liking to opening? Uh, yeah, let me know about that, though. Um, so here is the bolster mechanics. You know, there's so many mechanics in this set. Legendary Creature Spirit Soldier, whenever another non-token creature on the battlefield under your control, bolster one, which means choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. It's not bad. I think that did see uh, quite a bit of play, though. Uh, not a bad card. Uh, uh, one of the sets I had a blast opening um, when I was younger was Urza Saga. I must have opened about three and a half boxes worth. And I was only like 13 years old. Well, I think I was like 12 years old when I was getting these packs. Um, but I was also uh, raking leaves. I was shoveling driveways in the winter. Uh, me and my buddy also had, oh, that's a quote right there. Me and my buddy also um, were mowing lawns. You know, like we, we did a lot. Like we do whatever we could to earn money. And we were always getting money some way. And we'd go to uh, the corner store and, yeah, we'd pick up a whole bunch of, uh, of magic cards. Corpse Swept and Urza Saga was one of those. Deuce, exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. Put an put an XX black zombie horror creature token on the battlefield where X is twice the number of cards exiled this way. Very, very sweet right there. Not bad. We are more than halfway through. We are more than halfway through. I'll try to step it up a little bit. We, only, we know there's only one card in here in the front that we care about, and that is Impact Tremors. Everything else doesn't really matter. All right. Deuce, Deadly Wanderings. Arashan Foremost, the human in the double strike. There you go, enters the battlefield or attacks another target warrior creature you control, gains double strike until end of turn. There you have it, with Sprinting Warbrute. We are up to three foils. I had to point that out. Not bad for the Shiners here. Three foils. I, I think we'll get five. I'm pushing for five, baby. I'm pushing for five. I think the average box is like five or six, if I was to guess. It seems like there's less commons in this set. Because we already pulled, what, two? Maybe three, even? In Pet Trumpers, I didn't look at the first pack or two. The Salt, the Decree. Harbinger of the Hunt. Another big old dragon there for you guys. It's got the Flying. Harbinger of the Hunt deals one damage to each creature without flying. For three, Harbinger of the Hunt deals one damage to each creature with flying. Eh, kind of just poopy. I mean, really, it's it's kind of poopy for a dragon. That's all I'm saying. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. We did pull the biggest one. The, we pulled, I think, the... Yeah, the top dog. The top... Yeah, I think. Yeah. No, we did. 100%. I think we pulled the top two most expensive cards. And with that being said, haru, hare, hara. No, Colgan's Command. We have to get that still. Acid Spewer Dragon. Watch out. I'm flying in Death Touch with Megamorph. I'm going to turn face up to put a pulse on pulse on counter on each other. Dragon Control. Secure the Waste. Bam! Solid little card. I think I used this in one of my budget uh, token builds. Put X11 White Warrior Creature Token on the battlefield. Really, really neat. Just get a bunch of tokens out. Take your point to Pan Town. There you have it, my friends. We got Dramaka. This is true. Dramaka, baby. We passed all this. Evolving Wilds. Inspiring Call. The Gift, the Squall. Pristine. Cabbage. Yeah, there's not much to say about that card right there. Not a fan of this drag. It's just kind of poopy. Whenever you cast a non creature spell and tap, it gains protection from the color. No one cares, man. I mean, I, I I, get it. All right, I do. Really? How many people are out there playing a pristine sky-wise? Let's be honest, guys. Not a whole lot of us. All right, Evolving Wild, amazing card. Learn from the past. You should all take note to that. I have. Rig. Ooh, Death Miss Raptor. I remember the hype around this card. And then it just kind of went chapoopy. Actually, I think it was all right during its time, but outside of the standard, it just didn't do anything. Uh, Death Touch, whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, you may return Death Miss Raptor from your graveyard to the battlefield face up or face down. And it had the Megamorph cost as well. Cool art on that guy right there. I'll tell you that. Really, really neat. I think that's like under a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Volcanic Rush. All right. It's legit sauce, legit. But yeah, uh, Saga was so much fun. Saga was just so much fun to open, man. Mr. in Pain. Haven, Haven of the Spirit Dragon. There you have it. There you have it. Solid little card there for your dragon builds. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can return target dragon creature card or Ugin Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. That's right, just by sacrificing it. Ooh, a Sunbringer's Touch. Foil. We'll take it. That's a rare. That is something. Bolster X. Rex is the number of cards in your hand. Each creature you control with uh, plus one, plus one counter on it. Gains uh, trample until end of turn. Yeah, I must say, man... 
I'm not cool with the foils being so reprinted or just being being more being printed more, not reprinted, but just being like printed so much now. It, it really just takes away from the value. Like people want scarce things, you know. I mean, you're we, we buy all this product, but then there's just so many. Um, there's just so many of these foils out there that the foils are worthless, and some foils are worth um, are worth less than the regular version of that card, and that is ridiculous. Could you imagine that? It, it's not even something to imagine. It is happening. It is going like the most recent set. They're like that because they were printed so many times. That's a sign of the times, right there. That is sad. If, if that is sad, I don't know what I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that, but. I don't like it. I mean, I grew up where the, the rarity of them was uh, was very... Uh, they, were, they were harder to pull, you know? At attacking creatures you control have double strike. Yeah, the first time I ever seen um, a foil was in Legacy. Urza's Legacy. And like that was right around the time I started, you know? I started in Ice Age, really. Um, or around Ice Age, you know? Uh, but I definitely bought the most in the Urza block. That's really where like I started playing a lot um, was in Urza. Or Exodus, you know, and all that. But I remember when the first time I saw... A foil I got really um I got like really weirded out I'm like what is this like, like what is this rainbow what, what is what is this like I was just so like like we didn't we were like playing for about over like a year and a half at this point two years and and then we saw like this this foil thing like, what like we felt kind of like this is kiddish like you know like we looked at each other like what is that man Boltwing Mordor there you go another dragon pretty legit it's got uh, flying over another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Not bad at all. And Palace Familiar. When familiar dies, draw a card. Not bad. I always liked the art on that. I, I did. It's plain Jane, but it's really cool art. And the foil is even better. I'm going to put that in my cool pile, maybe. Now it's in the foil pile. So we got uh, five foils. Five. If we don't get another foil, then we hit what I expected. That's weird. Okay. I don't think that'll happen. We'll hit another foil. Another Wilds. Seismic Rupture. That's right. Another dragon, just to show you, flying lifelink. So many dragons are in this set. Ultimate price, great card, great card. I think that's in my turn one budget win deck. Look that one up. <laughs> Destroy target mono colored creature, really cool. And assault formation, not bad at all. We will take that. All right. I would like to pull if we can get a Colgan's command. I mean, we're cooking Heaven's Bakery in. Like we we're doing really good. We are doing really good if we could pull that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get that right. You know what? Let's pull it right now, right? Why not? Scale Lords, you'll die. Oh, oh, illusionary gains. That was way off. Basically, you get to control another creature. That is legit. We'll take it. Cabbage. I'll take it. But the foil thing, I don't know, man. <sighs> Didn't like it when I first saw them. And this is from someone who played before there were foils. So you got to consider that, you know? But then now, now with them just printing them, like they lost their their appeal. Like we then when we found out, of course, you know, oh these are worth more. You know, of course we took more of a liking to that, which was kind of neat. But it was like really though, like really, what am I doing? Stop it. Whatever. That's something. Um, like we were like that's kind of cool. You know, the, like the, the price is worth more. Great card by the way, Dragon Tempest. Uh, for dragon decks, whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to every creature or player with X number of dragons under control. That gets out of control. Ooh, a foil island from then. That's probably over a buck. Nice art on that. We will take that. You got foil. You got foil islands now out of a pack. You're looking at like ten cents, twenty cents. Like no one cares because they're printed so many times. They're like they print them in every single bundle, like every version uh, of that of that land. Like it's like what. It's just it's just oversaturating the market. They're just making it not they're just making these cards not special, you know. And back in the day, they were very special. That's pretty cool. Got another mythic right here. Kind of a jack, busty little kind of card, you know. Other zombies creatures you control get plus one plus one. That's cool. It's a four three. It can't block though, which I don't know why they would give it that. That's stupid. You may cast executioner from your graveyard if you pay one more to cast it for each other creature card in your graveyard. I just, it's stupid. I don't know. I, I They messed up with that card. They should have never put a can't block. They should have kept it at it could block. I think that was the biggest mistake they made on that card. Or they could have given it death touch. They could have done something else with that card. It's just rather worthless. Kind of, kind of disappointing. Very disappointing. Very Yes, very underwhelming. Cunning Breeze Dancer. There you go. Another one of these dragons. There's everywhere. Stormwing Dragon. Another dragon here. 
Angel Die. Monument and Bloodshin Fanatic. There you have it. Sacrifice another warrior creature. Target player loses X life and you gain X life for X to sacrifice creature power. There you have it. We are down to about six packs. Um, it's become very underwhelming in the last in the last bit here. Another impact tremors. We'll take it. Always worth a little penny. Very, very underwhelming here at the end. Enduring Scale Land. Scale Lord. The Elemental. Belto Dragon. Got flying and hexproof. Followed by Death Bringer Ragant's Dragon. It's got flying and uh, when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand and there are five or more other creatures in the battlefield, destroy all other creatures. Not bad. All other creatures. So that thing would be uh, the Lone Survivor. That'd be great against token builds and stuff, you know. Pretty cool. We got the hand. That's right. Dromaka. We got to get the big guy. Come on. Anyok Survivalist. The Righteousness. Shaman. Hidden Dragon Slayer, kind of cool. This thing turns face up. You can destroy another creature. Uh, power 4 or greater. Pretty cool. Not a bad little card there, or ability. I've actually used that in some builds. It's true, it's true. I know, I know. Great sideboard. Impact Tremors again. Four Impact Tremors. We're doing great. And the Tremors a lot. Battle Mastery. Bink, bink. Boosh! Dragon Lord Silumgar! That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Sorry for all the movement here. Uh, oh, my stabilization might be off. But it's got Flying and Death Touch. When Dragon Lord Slumgar enters the battlefield, you gain control of target creature Planeswalker for as long as you control Dragon Lord Slumgar. I wish it was like a way to protect it, like that Hexproof or something. I guess then it'd be kind of busted. Yeah, it'd be broken. Never mind, we can't do that with it. But really, really cool, powerful card. Will, take it. My name's not Will. But I'll take it. <laughs> okay, Will. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Last few packs here. Sight, Beyond Sight. All right, sure, man. Vet Maw, way to ramp up a little bit with the action. Bloodshed Rager. Profound Journey. Mm -mm. Rip the rebound. Not really anything fantastic to see there. Uh, maybe we can pull a Planeswalker? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool if we could pull a Planeswalker. I'll take it. I got the Dominance. Another Explosive Vegetation. We'll take it. The Decree and Foul Renewal. Why don't you have it? Foul Renewal. Oh! oh okay. Strumming Dragon. <laughs> I'm too excited there. Okay. A little foil action. So that makes our sixth foil. I believe. Sixth foil. All right. We're doing good. We are doing good. What else? We have the Grave Crawler. Grave Crawler would be nice. Invocation and Crater Elemental. Just a little bit of junky there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of junk. All right. Three packs. Can we go out with a nice bang? Can we go out with a nice bang? Gate Smasher. Bada bang. Eater. Monument. Foe Razor Regant. There you have it. We'll take it. And the end. Two packs. That, that, that dragon stinks. When it enters the battlefield, you may have it uh, fight target creature you don't control. And then uh, some stuff that pulls some, some counters on it. You're not missing much, trust me. You're not. Mm -mm. Colgan Monument. I feel like that's a plumbing company. Colgan. Anybody? anybody? Is that a plumbing company? Zergo Bell Balker. That's not bad. That's something. It's a one drop for deuce. Mm, it happens. Or it's a, it's a, it's a one drop for deuce deuce. Or with uh, power drop with deuce deuce. Last pack to crack, Jack. Come on. We did all right. Um, I think we did not come up with the value we were looking to get, though. I can tell you that much. Den Protector. Yeah, we need to go out with a bang there. Um, I might have evened out, maybe. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, but, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. And, um, yeah, thank you to so many patrons as well. Uh, those These people are just absolutely amazing. And they make the channel what it is. Could not be uh, doing this without all these patrons. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it does mean an absolute lot to me. Don't forget to check out the uh, the merchandise and use promo code Cabbage. That's capital C A B B A G E because we know how to spell today. Cabbage. <laughs> so make sure you use that promo code and you save five bucks off your purchase. I swear to you, I am literally making nothing, and they're all um. All the product, I have the better hoodies. I didn't go with the cheap quality hoodies. I went with the more expensive, more quality hoodies. So that's why they're more. Um, and then also, like they're more, they're going to be longer lasting. You know, you're going to get bang for your buck out of them. And also, I went with uh, the mid-tier quality t-shirts. 
So I don't have anything too expensive. I don't have anything dirt cheap, though. I'm right in the middle there. I like quality, you know? I, I like quality over quantity, for sure. All right, guys. I do appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much, again, to all the patrons. Make sure you guys check out these videos over here. And, uh, yeah, punch, punch the like button on the way out the door. And check out the other videos. Skadoosh.